So I didn't feel like I relayed in a strong enough way in yesterday's video how big, how important your nutrition is to your physical energy and to raising your physical vibration or expanding, activating, awakening your physical vibration or a electromagnetic field. So today I just want to expound upon that and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. We're living in a, in this crazy ass world in which our culture has established that there's three brains basically that your body is functioning with. And it's the heart, the mind, and the stomach. And if you are f feeling or, and, and actually science has proven that your brain, most people have an aura around electromagnetic field around their brain, it's about eight to 10 inches. From their heart, it can be as much as eight to 10 feet and more. And even from the stomach, the stomach has an aura around it. We have, our culture has shifted from heart, brain, stomach to stomach brain heart <laughs> and matter of fact very few people have awakened to really any degree the heart muscles now did you know that your heart has three times the sends three times the neuro signals to the brain than the brain does to the heart the heart is the facilitator of the body it's pumping blood which is, is one of the life forces of your body when you breathe, as you practice the breath work, it's just working along with the heart. But we, as human beings, have grown very soft in our cultures and our societies. We live inside homes, and we're always wearing shoes to cover our feet, which is keeping us from being grounded in the earth. And we're eating continually. Every couple hours, people are eating. Uh, we don't have to hunt for our food or go out and do anything for our food or gather. You know, we just run to the fucking grocery store and buy some shit. And as a result, our, the species have grown very soft. They follow their belly first, their mind second. Case in point, if you're sitting there at a buffet, your mind is, your brain is even telling you, I don't want any more. Your intuition's like, yeah, definitely don't get any more your heart. And your, but your stomach's like, yes, I want, ah, I want, I want. And so you keep feeding, you keep feeding. And uh, this has caused our culture to be fat, lazy, soft, and ultimately what's worse than that is it's caused our culture to be really unhealthy. And, the, and, and even more than that, the aura shrink, the vibrational frequency of your body is shrink down to nothing. So one of the ways that we change this or shift this is through intermittent fasting. I've been doing intermittent, practicing this intermittent fasting for a minute. It's been years now since I've been practicing it. I have put um, many people on this diet or encouraged many people to do it. It's, and I take it back. It's not really a diet. It's a lifestyle. And uh, almost every single time I'm like, hey, you should try intermittent fasting. And somebody's like, I want to lose weight. So if you want to lose weight, watch this. They're like, I want to lose weight. And I'm like, well, okay, try this. And they're like, I don't want to do a diet. I'm, intermittent fasting is not a diet. Intermittent fasting is a lifestyle. You don't even have to change what you eat. You're just changing the window of time that you're eating in. Now at first, for the first couple weeks, it might seem like a challenge, especially if your body's in a habitual energy of eating every three to six hours. The reason why it's going to be such a struggle is because your mind is actually telling you, your brain is actually telling you, the stomach brain is actually telling you, I'm hungry, when in actuality it's not hungry at all. It's just been programmed to eat, to feed every so many hours. So when you, as you begin to first shift that, there might feel, you might feel hungry when in actuality you're not hungry. Remind yourself. But really after about two weeks, no problems. The things that you're going to experience with intermittent fasting, the positive things, and I'm going to go over exactly how to do that towards the end of the video. The positive things are you're going to experience more energy, physical energy. You'll experience weight loss. You'll experience uh, a positive vibration, mental clarity. Um, you won't feel like you have to take naps so often, and you will 
have some weight loss because what's happening is when you get to about that if you especially if you do it the way I'm going to tell you if you get to, when as soon as you get to between 15 and 18 hours of fasted in the fasted state you actually begin your body really starts to kick in and starts to produce those ketones and it really starts to kick into this fat burning process it's like listen I need some energy so let's burn that fat and it starts to really target fat the other thing that's happening is every single day when you practice intermittent fasting, every single day you're detoxifying your gut, you're detoxifying your liver, you're detoxifying your kidneys, you're detoxifying your body every day. Because your body's not having an opportunity when you eat at a typical American or Western diet, your body's not having a, the opportunity to cleanse itself. When you intermittent fast, it is. As a result of this, especially if you start taking in living foods when you do start eating. So when you first stop your fasting window, so you start maybe at 9 p.m. and you'll start somewhere between 12 and 3 p.m. the next day. You'll start to eat. So that's going to be between 15 and 18 hours. And at first you might want to do the 15, so 3 to 12. So you stop eating at 9 p.m. and you would start eating again at 12. So your window is going to be a seven hour win uh, nine hour window, 12 to 9. When you eat this way, what you're actually doing, you would start at 12 with like some salad or uh, some fruit, some living foods. And you're starting very light. Just a couple little things like a banana or some leafy greens. You don't want to overdo it. And then maybe two or three, have a little bit, have a, have a couple more little things like leafy greens or bananas, some fruit and vegetables. And then your main eating window is going to be like 5 or 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. And that's when you're going to have a big meal. Now, if you really want to take this to the extreme, still look at your calories. Make sure you're still counting calories and, and staying within the window of calories that you want to stay for optimal weight loss or maintenance of your body weight. But the bigger health benefits are happening, whether you change the way that you eat or not, even if you don't change what you eat, if you just change that time window. I have helped my, I can even just tell you about my father. My father's older, and he, uh, and by older I mean he's in his 60s, and uh, he, you know what, he started doing this intermittent fasting, didn't change his diet at all. And he went, and it hadn't been under 200 pounds in, uh, in years. And now he's sitting in a 170s. He's been doing it for a couple of years now. He's in the 170s now. And he eats what he wants. The only thing is he changed when he eats. And that's for somebody in their 60s. So you can do this. This is an enormous, intermittent fasting is an enormous, and a, has beautiful, will make a beautiful impact upon your life, has enormous health benefits from weight loss, cardiovascular, uh, mental clarity. When you intermittent fast, you will be more focused because when your body is digesting foods, your body's sending all this blood to this digestive process and it's sending all this energy to digest the foods. And so this is the reason why you're tired, especially if you have heavy lunches or heavy breakfast. You will be tired. You will hit. You will hit a wall at between 12 and 2 p.m. and you will feel like you need a coffee break, so on and so forth. Intermittent fasting, none of that. That will go away and you'll start to have more energy and then you'll start to experience a greater aura because you're going to have more mental clarity you're going to feel lighter and you'll start to experience a greater electromagnetic field that electric magnetic field is going to increase the chi is going to begin to increase in your existence i also want to strongly 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 encourage you to check out living foods eat living foods fruits and vegetables and uh so Try this 9 to your fasting from 9 p.m. one day until 12 to 3 the next day. And try this for a couple weeks to a month. Give it a give it a 30-day challenge. Try it. And comment below if you do. Let me know if it's had any benefit. If it's had any uh, if you've lost weight or how you're feeling. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, tomorrow. We're going to continue this journey in talking about chi expanding or activating and awakening our divine energy. I love you guys. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you fucking play.